when you have a child, you, you get a certain picture that they're gonna go to school, they're gonna go to college, they're gonna get an all right job, they're gonna be happy, they're gonna be healthy, they're gonna to do all those things. I got the first news of Jason and his disability at four months old. So I found out really, really early. I watched him struggle and fight and I knew I had to take care of him. Jason, he is a charming little boy. He is very, very social. I call him my little social butterfly because he's got a smile that lights up a room. People who meet Jason don't forget him. My kid's happy. He's full of life. He is, he is such a teacher. He's taught me patience. It's hard to say what makes Fiona special because it's everything about my best friend. She sees the best in every situation and her level of patience is unbelievable. I'm, I try and learn from her on that. I know that if I don't get up and, and do the things that I have to do for him on a daily basis, he wouldn't be able to do anything. He can't get out of his bed or get dressed or have a drink or brush his teeth or anything without somebody. It's a cliche to say I don't think I could do what she does because I don't have her reality. She never ceases to amaze me. She's the living embodiment of service to others, which I think is what we're all kind of missing and lacking in our life today. Sure, occasionally he'll be sad about a certain activity he might not be able to participate in. He can't go on a swing at the park, but he can have a laugh at the little kids that are playing. His outlook on life is awesome. My job means a lot to me. I explained in the beginning that this is my son, this is what I'm dealing with, and if you're able to accommodate, I would love to be able to work for you. And I've been there eight years. Fiona is reliable, she's flexible because she understands people and their challenges, and uh, she's one of our good employees. She was the right person for the right job. It really does take a village to raise a child and because of Jason's situation, they understand that in order for me to have a life, I need to do this, this process and unfortunately, I am the only one that does it. It's not always gonna be easy. And there are days where you're just gonna wanna stay in your bed and not get out. But it's recognizing it and knowing that there are happier days ahead. Mm -hmm.